Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Hangarani, and this is a site for vascular surgery briefing on peripheral arterial disease. Peripheral arterial disease is a common circulatory problem in which narrowed arteries reduce blood flow to your limbs. It affects about 8 million Americans. It becomes more common as one gets older, and by the age of 65, about 12 to 20 percent of the population has it. Diagnosis is critical as people with peripheral arterial disease, or PAD, have four to five times the risk of heart attack or stroke. The most common cause of peripheral arterial disease is atherosclerosis. In atherosclerosis, fatty deposits, or plaque, build up in your artery walls and reduce the blood flow. If you smoke, you have an especially high risk for PAD. Other risk factors include diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, increasing age, especially after the age of 50 years old, and a family history of peripheral arterial disease, or PAD, heart disease, or stroke. The most common symptoms of PAD are cramping, pain, or tiredness in the leg or hip muscles while walking or climbing stairs. Typically, this pain goes away with rest and returns when you walk again. The pain of PAD usually goes away when you stop exercising, although this may take a few minutes. When the muscles are being used, they need more blood flow. That means if there's a blockage due to plaque buildup, the muscles won't get enough blood during exercise to meet their needs. More severe PAD can present with leg pain that does not go away when you stop exercising, foot or toe wounds that won't heal or heal very slowly, or gangrene. PAD is easily recognized and diagnosed with a simple, painless way. Blood pressure tests and a sonogram using sound waves to look at the arteries of the legs can identify the blockages in the arteries. About 80 to 92 percent of patients only need medication, lifestyle changes, and exercise therapy to treat their symptoms. Other options include hyperbaric oxygen, balloon angioplasty, and open procedures. A balloon angioplasty is a procedure that is commonly used to treat PAD. A needle is placed into an artery, a balloon is used to open the blockage and thereby reestablish blood flow to the leg. Sometimes the stent or metal mesh is also used to hold open the artery. This procedure can often relieve the pain, heal the ulcers, and gangrene and save the leg. If a balloon angioplasty is not able to be done, the vascular surgeon may choose to perform an open procedure to either go around the blockage or take out the blockage to take care of the problem. Only a vascular surgeon can offer all three options, conservative management, minimally invasive therapy, or an operation. The vascular surgeon will base their decision on what they feel will best serve the particular patient. Unlike other specialties that can only perform some of these therapies, the vascular surgeon performs a full range of these types of interventions. They are the one who is best able to tailor a therapy that best fits the patient. This briefing is made possible through a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about your vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.